funk music. That's where it's at, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So, all right, so welcome. I'm Donald Witt, the bass instructor for I Want to Play Bass.com, and today we're going to talk about funk music. Um, if if you're a bassist, you need to know you need to add this genre to your um, toolbox because it is quite the genre and it really focuses on the bass. The bass lines are what move funk music around and, and carry it. The bass just carries it. But um, that's so today we're talking about funk music and <clears throat> it originated in, in the 1960s um, when James Brown came out and his style of focusing on the on the one beat and the groove and um, the swinging 16th notes it it wasn't rhythm and blues it wasn't jazz it wasn't soul it, it you know it was it was it was a combination of all of that so it had the that style had to have it was its own style so they had to come up with a name with it and and that's what they came up with they came up with funk i mean that word funk has been around since the 16 1600s and it was pertaining to an odor so um, it wasn't until later on in the 1900s the jazz musicians they kept using it you know put some stank on that that was that was what they um, used and and funk was used a lot but it was in the 50s and 60s it was kind of inappropriate word to use but the jazz musicians being you know always on the, pushing that cuff you know they were always um, shooting from the cuff they they used the word a lot and finally that's how it turned into James Brown's um that was that turned into funk and that's that's what it was a combination of <clears throat> soul rhythm blues and jazz and um it's it's definitely some it's even similar to ragtime it has the syncopated rhythms the bass <clears throat> the bass has has their um their rhythm and the guitarists have their rhythms and the drummers are playing their rhythms and they all they're all come together but they really focus on the one as opposed to ragtime focus on the upbeats and um you know it's it's a poor piano genre was ragtime so you know not real similar at all but the the syncopated syncopations of jazz i mean funk and ragtime are similar to that effect and um <clears throat> But that's that's how they're a little bit similar. But that's what was derived from soul and jazz and um, R and B. And um, like I said, the the guitar, drums, and bass lines they carry they carry. It's a hard driving rhythmic rhythmic patterns that define the style funk. And it's it's the bass lines that are typically the center of um, the center of the of the tune. That's the bass is, is definitely where the attention is drawn to, and um, and that's that's why as a bass instructor I focus on I enjoy this genre so much because of the bass lines that they have, and I focus I spend a little more time in my lessons um in my course on funk music because it's um it's you know it's you know it's not hard it's not musically hard it's rhythmically hard and it's something that that helps you your rhythm and you know just build you as as a basis so that's that's why i spent a good bit of time in there and the jazz and um those two are are pretty lengthy lessons and at i want to play bass.com but um that's what you need to you need that genre those two genres under your belt to move forward as a basis because they're um because of their um the difficulties of those two <clears throat> so um, like I said it came from the, the soul rhythm and blues and jazz and and it looks um, and the harmonies you, you know, that's the harmonies are similar to jazz because they do they do some seventh notes they do some um, some some mainly uh, the blues the dominant sevens they use a lot which is understandable and um, and jazz they do some some of the um the attention to they the dorian mode it's a it's a popular mode the dorian mode and the mixolydian mode they are two popular modes that um funk uses a lot and that what that's what gives it its color as well and just a, just a coolness but um 
So, so that's a little bit about funk. I'm, you know, like I said, you can sign up for I want to play bass.com. We go into it in depth there, and um, and if you don't sign up, just subscribe. You can be a free member right there just by subscribing, and you get a free ebook as well, how to set your bass up for success. And um, that is that is that. Subscribe here as well. Um, it helps me help you. I've got lots more. I've got a little more. Um, on the American, on the origins of American music series that I've put out, this is um, we're nearing the end, so you want to see the the next um, the next part. But these these two, this one and um, the next one are are what I've been looking forward to. So funk is is where it's at, and that's what we're gonna do. And like I said, subscribe subscribe here. I've got more coming out, and I've got another. Um, I'll have another mini series coming out here. In the next few weeks, I'll um, get that together. But um, but for now, this is we're wrapping this one up. And subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. And um, and like I said, there's hundreds. You can sign up to my um, my I want to play bass.com. There's hundreds of videos there. You know, monthly installments there. Um, you know, for the full access to hundreds of videos there. And I've got an, an annual. Um, plan that it's a little cheaper and then the um the lifetime plan so check it out look at the plans and um sign up like i say it's we start from tearing this your base down to the maintenance the setting it up and i'm um, setting it up to you because they're all customized and you know they're all um they're all special so you make it special by setting up but we give you the knowledge and the tools to do that so that is that is what we go, what we do. I, you know, I enjoy um, seeing aspiring bassists grow into um, working bassists, and and that's what it is. I've been doing it for years. You know, we've um, studied in California for several years, and and now we're back here, just just doing what I love, and you know, I love watching people watching people grow as bassists. So. So here's a, a funky little bass line. It's a popular one. It's um, Parliament um, give up the funk. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give you the the basics of it, and um, and then we'll go ahead. Like I said, you can hit the comment down below. I can set up the transcribe it for you and and shoot that and leave that in there. Um, if it's wanted, it's not um, it's not too difficult, but. Um, it is. It's Parliament and give up the funk. So the first part gets a little funky. So that's just basically that on four. A couple ghost notes in there, which keeps it, which gives it the funk. Basically, the the um, verse there, and you've got the chorus. There's only a couple parts in it, and it's. So that's that's chorus there, and then they've got a little free. And it kind of just move around a little free in that in, it, in that phrasing there, just some little different phrasing in that. Because that right there defines that whole tune. That that groove right there is what defines the whole song. Is that right there? You hear that, and that is so recognizable that 
Bootsy Collins. He's a uh, quite the um, extravagant, uh, or you know, just just a bright personality, and you know, you can see it in his bass lines. And it's um, he's somebody that definitely follow, and just a bad dude right there, Bootsy Collins. And um, so that's it. That's basically it. Um, give up the funk. Check it out. And check out the you know the other popular ones. You've got Rick James, um, um, Stevie Wonder, some funk in there. Even um, Michael Jackson has a couple of songs that are, are funk feels. And um, and yeah, just check those guys out. The um, the most um, there's a lot. Lou Graham. There's a lot of um, a lot of big bassists in that genre, and they are some of the top bases so like i say bootsy collins um stanley clark he was a little he's just been ever he's done everything from fusion um return to forever and his own stuff and jazz um he's just he is a fully well-rounded basis and i know bootsy collins he's as well like that but he's he is the a funk basis so he is when you hear bootsy collins you you think of funk automatically so, so definitely check him out. Um, interesting, interesting guy as well. And like I said, subscribe below. Let me know what you think. Um, send me some comments. I love the interaction. Um, it just helps me grow and helps me uh, do better and give more different lessons or maybe break them down. Maybe there's, you know, I don't want them too long and, you know, I don't want them too short. So, um, so that's. That's that. Like I say, subscribe below. Check out my website. I want to play bass.com. Check out udemy.com. I've got some lessons in there as well. Some little individual lessons. Um, you can preview it there to see what, what you'll be getting. And, um, and yes, on a Donald S. Witt bass lessons. So definitely check those out. And look forward to hearing from y'all. Okay? So we'll walk it out on this.